Today I'm gonna talk okay about the 10 most dangerous animals in Australia in number one terrifying list. The Australian Museum in Sydney has a ranking of Australia's most dangerous animals based on the level of threat they pose, combined with how likely an unlucky punter is to encounter one in the wild. While many of the usual suspects are there, you might be surprised to find the humble honeybee features high up on the list. Martin Robinson, a naturalist at the Australian Museum, thinks the threat from creatures that bite and sting may be overblown compared to the threat from moving vehicles. The most dangerous thing you can do is probably just crossing the road, Martin Robinson's told to Mashable Australia. Still, if you plan to walk or swim in the land down under, here is a list of the 10 most dangerous animals you should be worried about. Number 1 is Box Jellyfish. Danger Rating 10 out of 10 Scientific Name Chironex Fleckeri Highly Dangerous The box jellyfish is usually found in northern Australia during the warmer months, exactly when you want to swim. They're called box jellyfish because their bell, the top of the jellyfish, has four corners, as well as clusters of trailing, stinging tentacles that can stretch more than 2 meters, 6.4 feet. Human encounters occur most often when the box jellyfish come close to shore to breed in estuaries. That type of water is muddy, so you can't always see them and they can't see you. If you're in the murky water and brush against one, you can easily be stung. How to know if it's got you? A box jellyfish sting can be unbelievably painful. The venom is designed to paralyze fish, so it immobilizes your nerves and affects breathing and movement. A large dose can cause cardiac arrest and death within minutes. Number 2 is Honey Bee. Danger Rating 9 tenths. Scientific Name Apis mellifera. The humble honey bee, which is not native to Australia, comes second on the list because it's both common and deadly to a small subset of people. Being stung by 100 or so honeybees could put anyone at risk of a fatality, but for those who are highly allergic, even a single sting can be a life-threatening situation. The honeybee has barbed stings, so it can only sting once. The purpose of the sting is to make you never want to bother a bee ever again. How to know if it's got you? You'll suffer a sharp, burning pain and minor swelling, unless you're allergic, in which case a string could cause swelling and severe breathing difficulties, among other symptoms. Number 3 is Irukundi Jellyfish. Danger Rating 9 tenths. Scientific Name Garukia Barnes a type of small box jellyfish, the Irukundji jellyfish can be the size of a fingernail in the bell, and its tentacles can be up to 1 meter feet, in length. Scientists are not certain of the full range of locations where they occur, but there have been remarkably similar stings along the Australian coastline. While the box jellyfish is usually found in shallow water, the Irukundji jellyfish is most often in deep water. How to know if it's got you? Getting stung by these little buggers can bring on Irukundji syndrome. Taking about 30 minutes to set in, the syndrome can be marked by severe lower back pain, cramps, sweating, anxiety, nausea, and other, more fatal, symptoms. Taking about 30 minutes to set in, the syndrome can be marked by severe lower back pain, cramps, sweating, anxiety, nausea, and other, more fatal, symptoms. Number 4 is Bull Shark. Scientific name Carcharhinus lucus. Found worldwide in coastal waters, you're most likely to come across the bull shark in estuaries, harbors, and rivers. It's a very good scavenger, as well as a predator, so you certainly don't want to be swimming near any dead whale carcasses. It's probably responsible for most of the dogs that go missing from the water. Number 5 Eastern Brown Snake Scientific name Pseudonarja textilis The brown snake group is likely responsible for the most snake bite fatalities of any Australian snake genus, probably because the species is found all over Australia. Usually more than 1 meter feet, in length, it's a very nervy snake, so if you come close they can strike out and bite you quickly. Number 6 Saltwater or estuarine crocodile. Scientific name. 
crocodilosporosis. Living in northern Australia, saltwater crocodiles can be found in the ocean, but they are more likely to be in estuaries, and occasionally, freshwater. Take notice of what the locals tell you and take any cautionary signs seriously, because the saltwater crocodile is very good at ambushing prey. And a word to the wise, don't leave your dog chained up outside the tent. Number 7. Sydney Funnel Web Spider. Scientific name. Atrax Robustus. Most of Sydney's North Shore suburbs are built on the main population area of the Sydney Funnel Web. Since 1927, 14 deaths from the spider have been recorded. It's only the male bite that has proved fatal, however. The direct UV light will kill a funnel web, so the spiders need somewhere to hide during the day and have been known to consider a shoe a perfectly adequate location. More commonly, the spiders build burrows under something like a pile of bricks or a log. How to know if it's got you? The venom of a Sydney funnel web can cause death, as it contains a neurotoxin component that affects the nervous system. The bite is very painful, and symptoms include sweating, tingling and muscle spasms. Number 8. Blue Ring Octopus. Scientific name. Genus Hapiloclina. There are about four species of blue ring octopus around the Australian coast. They are normally brown and innocuous looking, but when disturbed, iridescent blue lines and rings appear. Almost all bites have occurred when the octopus was picked up and taken out of the water. The simple message is, don't touch them and you'll be fine. How to know if it's got you? Once bitten by this octopus, symptoms can appear within minutes, depending on where you've been bitten. Because it contains neurotoxins, the body starts to shut down and becomes increasingly paralyzed. Usually, victims die because they stop breathing. Number 9. Coastal Taipan. Scientific name. Oxyurinus scutellatus. Around 2 meters, 6.4 feet, on average, the coastal taipan is not an aggressive snake, but it's very able to defend itself with a fast and accurate strike. The inland taipan beats the coastal taipan for the severity of its venom, but people rarely encounter it and there have been no known deaths. How to know if it's got you? The coastal taipan's venom is designed to work on mammals such as rats and works very quickly. The venom attacks the nervous system and blood. If bitten, you might start to bleed internally, as well as suffer headaches, nausea, and vomiting. Number 10. Common Death Adder. Scientific name. Acanthopus antarcticus. Quite widespread in Sydney bushland. The reason this snake is at number 10 is that it relies on camouflage rather than evasion to protect itself. While other snakes will slink off when faced with a threat, the death adder freezes, he said, so it's easy to get bitten if you're walking through a bushy area and step on one. Its fangs are long and can penetrate quite deeply. How to know if it's got you? The common death adder's venom causes loss of motor and sensory function, ego numbing or respiration starts to slow, and eventually, paralysis and even death can occur. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon to get a notification when we upload new videos. We upload videos every day 9am. Thanks for watching my videos. Have a good day.